Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm Mohit Bhadwaj and we are here in the backwaters of Chennai to introduce you to the new Maruti Suzuki Brezza and I hope you would have already noticed that it now misses out on the Vitara prefix but on the contrary it now gets a sense of fresh air and to let you folks know what exactly is new on this car and should you put your money on it or not I'm here to help you out so without any further ado let's kick things off design first Over to the front you now have a clamshell like bonnet which is very flat and so is the case with the nose. You now have slim LED headlamps with dual projector setup and the LED DRLs they make the Brezza look menacing. And if I talk of the bumper it has a bull bar like effect and that also adds to the Brezza's overall road presence. Move over to the sides you have 16 inch alloy wheels and it's a new design feature diamond cut finish and I personally like them. The wheel arches they are squared off and the fenders they are more pronounced this time and a big change on to the side is the addition of a new rear quarter glass which makes the Brezza look longer. Over to the rear you now have a new boot lid and you now have new LED tail lamps and the overall design it looks fresh to me. What do you guys think of it? Let us know in the comments below. For now let's hop inside and see what's there. With a solid third, that's how the doors close on the new Maruti Suzuki Brezza and this third signifies the fit and finish level of this cabin. They are really great, no complaints whatsoever. Now moving over to the design, the dashboard layout is all new and it gets multiple layers. And talking of the steering wheel, it is an all new unit as well. And this design looks really neat to me. What do you think of it? Let us know in the comments below. Now let's start with the feature list and you have an automatic climate control over here and a large 9 inch infotainment unit that also comes with Suzuki Connect that offers multiple connected car features. Also the instrument binnacle is new and it gets a large multicolor MID and there are some segment first feature as well for example you now get 360 degree parking camera along with a heads up display and the Brezza has been a comfortable car the seats are really supportive and it has scored big marks in terms of space and that continues to be the case even on the new one thankfully this time around Maruti has added an electronic sunroof that makes it a more new age friendly car and I think there are a couple of more features, for example the 6 speaker Akamis sound system that uplift the overall ambience of this cabin. But what's there on the rear seats, there's one thing really special. Let's hop there and have a look. To make yourself comfortable in the new Maruti Suzuki Brezza, I think it's a breeze. Why? Because you have adjustable headrest. The center armrest comes with two cup holders, you have two dedicated rear AC vents and you also have two dedicated charging ports and one of them is type A while the other one is type C. An intelligent touch I would say. But with this I think it's time to get going and see how good is this to drive. Now I'm reporting from the driving seat of the new Maruti Suzuki Brezza and I'll straight away start off from the specifications. Well, you now have the 1.5 litre 4 cylinder naturally aspirated petrol motor that puts out 103 bhp of peak power and 137 nm of max torque. Transmission options include a 6 speed torque converter automatic that replaces the age old and the very archaic four-speed torque converter and this new gearbox is really refined there's one issue I could come across with the new six-speed 80 is this gear lever is not very well designed apart from that it is a seamless unit I would say and paired with a very well refined and very well tuned 1.5 liter NA motor I think this is one of the nicest combination in this segment however it is not as peppy as the new age turbo petrol motors but that being said it is a very comfortable offering it can absorb potholes ripples speed bumps and whatsoever that you throw at it that being said it is actually a comfortable car to drive I think it's time to move to the verdict now 
With a starting price of rupees 7.99 lakhs X showroom, the new Maruti Suzuki Brezza fails to undercut the current segment king Tata Nexon. In fact, it is slightly more expensive than the Hyundai Venue facelift. But let's address the elephant in the room, and that is what all is new on the Brezza. But what's old? I think it's the attitude that has been carried forward from the older car, and it continues to be a no-nonsense car in this space so if you want a compact suv that can be thrown around corners look elsewhere if you want a great family car and a vehicle that can do it all without any major fuss you have the new maruti suzuki brezza